this video, we're going to be introducing the troubleshooting guide for the error code 401 on Growart main series inverters. The error code 401 normally indicates the communication issue between the inverter and the meter. If you are using the uh, E-Strong SDM120 CD meter, from the meter box, uh, you will see so there is a um, communication cable and also a strong SDM120 meter, as well as the CD clamp. As for the cable connection, so the one end connects to the system plug of the inverter, while the other end goes to the meter. For the wiring diagram for main uh, 2.5 to 6 kilowatt inverter, so 7 to 10 and 8 to 9, for 7 to 10 kilowatt inverter, so it's 7 to 9 and 8 to 10. And for a hybrid inverter, 2.5 to 6 hex age inverters, so it's 5 and 6, so 5 to 10 and 6 to 9. Please double check, make sure the connection is correct and the pin matches from the two ends. From the meter side, if you're using the communication cable that comes with the meter box, uh, there's a small label attached indicating which one is A and B. Down the bottom, A, which is for the uh, CD connection, is pin 1 and 2, 1 is for white and 2 is for black. As for the CD clamp, at the back of the CD clamp, you can see there is an arrow. So just making sure this arrow is pointing to the load, and the letter L is um, for stands for the load. So just make sure the direction is correct, otherwise the data might be wrong. And as for the position of the CD clamp, we recommend you put it before the electricity meter. If you don't have access to that, you can also put it before the um, main circuit breaker. Just make sure it puts it before all the loads. There are two similar terminals down the bottom of the inverter. One is DRM, the other is Syscon. Please make sure the plug connects to the Syscon port. Once the connection is done, the next step is to set up the export limit from the inverter screen. There is a fingerprint button below the screen. The gesture is single tap to choose, double tap to confirm, and a triple tap to go back. Just single tap the screen and find set parameter, and then double tap, and from the menu just choose advanced and then double tap and then input the password one two three and then single tap the menu to scroll down until you find export limit double tap and then choose on after that, there will be two options. Please choose meter. If you choose CT, there might be other error code occurs later. For the control type for all Australian installation, please choose SW. If you didn't see the control type pops up, probably the inverter's firmware needs to be upgraded. After that, and then you can set up the export limit ratio. If you want the full export, you can set it up to 100%. If you want zero export, then choose zero. If you want the partial export, for example, for 10 kilowatt inverter, you want to set, up, set it up the five kilowatt export, just choose 50%. Once you set up the export limit ratio, if all the connection and settings are correct, the inverter will start generating and the leaf above the inverter screen will stay solid green. If the error code 401 occurs after you have set the export limit, Please follow the instructions below to check. So firstly, check the cable connection. In most of the case, the error code 401 is caused by the incorrect connection. Please follow the wiring diagram to check and ensure the pin matches from the two ends. In addition, you can also use the multimeter to check the continuity of the communication cable. And you can measure the voltage directly from the syscon. And if the com communication has been established, there should be a roughly around 3 to 4 volts voltage. Also, you can measure the voltage from the meter side, from pin 9 and 10. There should be a DC voltage, roughly around 3 to 4 watts. Please double check the connection, which is very important. You can also replace or change the communication cable if necessary. If the connection is correct, the next step is to check the inverter settings. Please follow this video step by step to set up the relevant parameters regarding export limit. If the settings is incorrect, the error code may stay. Thirdly, please check the city's position and direction. If the data is abnormal from the monitoring app, for example, all of the production goes to the load, then this may cause it by the incorrect position and direction. The last step is to check the syscom port and meter settings. As we mentioned previously, 
There are two similar terminals down the bottom of the inverter. One is DRM, the other is syscom port. Please make sure you connect to the syscom port. As for the meter settings, there's a button on the panel that you can find on the bottom of the meter. So just long press the button and then you will set, enter the menus. So from the menu, uh, please check the meter address, make sure it has been set to 001. Uh, you can also check the bolt rate, even the city's ratio. Uh, in most of the case, you can just leave it as default, it's all preset, you don't need to change anything. But you can also do so to double check just in case. If you still have any questions, feel free to contact our Australian service line 1800 476928. Thanks for watching and see you next time.